All right, let's do an example. We have a force here, F1, which is equal to 50 newtons, which is acting to the right on a five kilogram object. There's another force acting on the object, F2, which is equal to 30 newtons, and it acts to the left. We're asked to find the acceleration of the object. Let's write down what we know. First of all, we know F1. F1 is 50 newtons. It's acting to the right, so it's positive. Then we know F2. F2 is 30 newtons. And as it says here, it's acting to the left, so a negative. And finally, we have the mass, which is equal to 5 kilograms. We're asked to find the acceleration. Well, let's begin by drawing a free body diagram. I'll draw my little dot. And I have 50 newtons acting to the right. This is F1. And I've got 30 newtons acting to the left. That's F2. So if we look at this, we fully expect some of F1 to be canceled out, but not all of it. And we're going to expect to see a net force in this direction. So let's work out the net force. The net force is equal to F1 plus F2. That is 50 newtons in the positive direction and 30 newtons in the leftward or negative direction. And the result is 20 newtons. So that's our net force. What about acceleration? Well, acceleration, as you may recall, is the net force divided by the mass. So again, we can substitute. We have 20 newtons for the force, and our mass is 5 kilograms. So 20 divided by 5 is 4. And newtons per kilogram is the same thing as saying meters per second squared. So the acceleration in this example is 4 meters per second squared. And it's positive, so it's moving to the right. So now you might want to try um, one or two problems like this on your own.